So this is the second installment in the series of technical demos for the JavaScript data flow architecture, also known as Jada. In this demo, we'd like to show you how a savvy HTML author can go about creating a mashup similar to local search applications like those provided by Yahoo or Google. I'm going to assume you've watched the first demo, so if you haven't yet, please watch that first. So once again, on the left, we have a web browser, and on the right, we have a text editor. The first info trying to add is a form that contains some HTML to render two text fields, one for a search term and another for a zip code. So it's right there. Now, the second info trying to add is a table info trying that visualizes content in a tabular format. I'm also going to add some starter HTML code within the div tag that defines the infotron. There you go. Now refresh and I go and refresh. I see the table outline. Uh, the third infotron I'll add is a Yahoo local search infotron, which is a web service. Clean up some code. And the last info trend I'll add is similar to the one I used in the previous demo. It's a translator infotron that converts the Yahoo local search results into a format that the table infotron understands. So with all four infotrons added, I refresh and nothing happens. Uh, again because none of them are connected yet. So let's do that. So I'm going to first go ahead and connect the search form to the Yahoo local search infotron. Local search. Make sure the IDs match up. Local search and local search. So these two infotrons are now connected. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect the Yahoo local search infotron to the translator infotron. So the response out terminal is going to get connected to the um, JSON RSS in terminal of the translator. Now make sure that translator IDs match up. Then I'm going to connect the translator infotron to the table infotron. The translator infotron provides text scrap collection out and that's going to be connected to the um, collection in terminal on the table. Now I refresh and I get an error. Uh, let me fix that. Ah, okay. And I refresh again. I'm going to hit search, and here we have local search. So people say it's not a mashup until there's Google Maps involved, so um, let's add it. All right, refresh, and we've got the Google Map. Now, I would like for the map to show me all the locations found using the local search. So that's actually as simple as connecting the translate result directly to the Google Maps infotron, since Google Maps understands the same format that the table does in this case. And we're going to basically be showing Yahoo local search results on Google Maps, which is cool. Now let me go ahead and hit search. And voila, I see the locations shown on Google Maps. I can um, obviously interact with Google Maps just as you would expect. Pan, zoom. And I can um, also change the search term as you would expect. And hit search to get different results. 
Now what I want to do is add something called a sniffer infotron because I'm curious as to what the message format is that comes out of the table when I click on one of the rows. So I just added a sniffer infotron. And I'm going to go ahead and connect the table infotron to the sniffer infotron, which will allow me to see the content of the message coming out of the table when I click on a row. So I use the clicked row out terminal on the table and route it to the in terminal on sniffer. Make sure that the IDs match up. And I see the blue box down there, which is the sniffer. And now when I hit search and I click on one of the rows, I see the message content displayed in the sniffer. And it looks like it's basically an array where the first item is the column number and the second item is the actual information on the location itself. So if I hit um, yeah, so, so what I'm going to do is remove the sniffer now, and I'm going to add something called a filtering router infotron, which will allow me to only let through messages that have the number 1 in its first item, which indicates that I clicked on the first column of a given row. So I added it. And now let me go ahead and connect the table infotron to the filtering router infotron that I just added. And I'm going to go ahead and also connect the filtering router infotron to the Google Maps infotron. So now when I hit refresh and I hit search, and when I hit a, the first column, I get the detail information shown inside Google Maps. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, so I'm feeling a little adventurous tonight. So let me show you some potentially gratuitous ways of extending a mashup like the one we have. Now what I'm going to do is add a Yahoo Maps infotron. in place of Google Maps. So I'm going to just go ahead and comment out Google Maps for now. And now when I ref and notice how the ID is the same. So everything remains exactly the way it is. And refresh the page and voila, I get Yahoo Maps in place of Google Maps. Complete plug and play. The terminals are named identical on purpose, obviously. Uh, and the message formats are compatible, so it just is plug and play completely. Now, let me go ahead and put Google Maps back in, and I uh, gotta make sure that the ID is now different. And what I get is two maps. And at first, only one of which actually works. So now you hit search, and you notice only Yahoo Maps work. Right? Google Maps is um, non-functional. So let's fix that. I'm going to go ahead and add a new channel so that the translated local search results are routed to both maps, map 1 and map 2. And when I click on the table, the, that information is also routed to both map 1 and map 2. Go ahead and add those two channels. And I hit refresh. I go ahead and hit search. And you notice that both maps now display my results. I interact with both of them. And I hit the first column of the table. And the detailed information shows up in both maps. Not too shabby, eh? Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it.